Hello, St. Luke, St. Luke family, our friends, our well-wishers. This is the day that God has made. We ought to rejoice and be glad. Pastor T.C. Johnson here at the St. Luke Christian Church in Huntsville, Alabama, where God is with us, seeking to save. God want to use you as a conduit to reach someone else with the love of Jesus, with the love of Jesus Christ. It's announcement time, and uh, several are uh, on Aboard today, I want you to know that this Sunday, uh, Women's Day theme, Shall We Dance, out of Psalms 30, verses 11 through 12, a wonderful passage relative to uh, encouragement. Their colors are shades of yellow and gold and white. Shades of yellow, gold, and white. That's what the women will be wearing. We look forward to our own sister Yvette Talbert uh, bringing us the message and the Women's Day Choir uh, will be there on Sunday as well. They're always a uh, very spiritual, always lift us up. We are looking forward to um, our women celebrating our women this coming Sunday at 9.30 here at the St. Luke Christian Church. Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church will be with us at 9.30 in the Women's Day event as well. Also, the women's ministry uh, are hosting a community baby shower. They do this every year. I want to thank them for their support for, um, for babies over the years. They've responded. We've had calls they've responded to uh, many, many times as far as providing for the most vulnerable um, of us in being babies. They have done some tremendous thing and this year during the month of August is their community baby shower they're asking all of you who can uh, to help and bring out items diapers pampers I think I think they meant pampers by diapers anyway but from because I'm from the old school you know I know the difference so pampers um, you know kitty kit baby size closies those those kind of bottles um, make it make it new if you, if you can make it new make sure it's new I'm trying to see anything else on that list uh, wipes clothing bottles and any basic baby item should be new and are unused okay so let's uh, let's support them brothers you can support them also if you don't have any of those items which I don't suspect you do you can make a contribution to the Women's Day or the Women's Ministries um, Community Baby Shower. All those items will be delivered to the Alethea House and, um, yeah, yeah, North Alabama Community Care used to be the best start. North, now it's North Alabama Community Care. Uh, those items will be collected and will be given uh, to those persons who are right in the f um, front line of assisting um, babies and their moms and the families with items that they uh, struggle to get. So thank you, Women's Ministry. That's Women's Ministry. That, that's, that's, that's good to have you doing that. Brothers, I want you to remember that we're asking our brothers to think up something we can do to support our women this uh, women celebration this year and you have some time it doesn't have to be this month get your heads together let's say uh let our sisters know we celebrate them i'll ask them to do the same thing for men and hopefully next year we can back be back to a routine of going on trips visiting places and bonding and sharing god in that in that way so this sunday's theme again shall we dance out of psalms 30 verses 11 and 12 is quite an encouragement. Also, uh, remember that on our prayer list, Deacon Williams is mending, Mother Liberta um, Jackson, keep her in prayer as well, Sister Kara Thomas, make sure you keep her in prayer, uh, Mother DeVance, uh, keep Mother DeVance in prayer. Also, uh, don't forget to pray for Mother Flowers and Brother Ponder, 
um, keep them in prayer. Um, Patricia, Patricia Flowers, that is. Sheila Rashid, uh, Sister Loretta Mahone, uh, Willie Ellison, Giselle Foreman, Wanda Jackson. Keep them in prayer. Ask the Lord to lay his healing hands on each of them and restore them to health. Our next announcement is that welcome to all our college students. Our college students are back, and we're asking you to put them on our prayer list, especially those freshmen. So we're welcoming A&M, Oakwood, UAH, Drake, and Calhoun, those young people coming to the community uh, to share in the education process here. Amen. Keep them in prayer. For all of you to have children going off to college freshman years, if you're a member of this church, I certainly want to know who is where. So contact Sister Angela Martin. Let her know um, who and where your student is. We're going to put them on a prayer list that God will keep them focused for their journey during this time of matriculation for a higher education. We thank God for your families. Keep them in prayer. You, you've done your part. Now they got to get out there and get weaned. And uh, we just want to make sure that they don't get bamboozled too often. Amen. So um, we're thankful and ask you to remember Charlie Burgess as well. I don't want to forget about him. Uh, as we pray, Sister Perlene Foreman, don't forget Sister Foreman when, you, uh, when you're praying. Okay. The, um, I think it's the last announcement. Uh, deals with voting. Listen, and I'm going to say more about this. Please, please, please look around, tap people on the shoulder, ask them, are they voting? I'm going to start dealing with your voting dates. I need someone to work with voter registration, outreach for voting. Uh, we're going to order some material on how to vote and what to vote for. So we'll be doing that in the near, near future. In the meantime, if there's someone out there who wants to volunteer to work on getting people registered and encouraging people for midterm election votes. We don't need to slack up. This is a very serious election cycle, very, very serious election cycle for us. And I think it would be negligent if we uh, had an opportunity but didn't vote. So we're gonna get you uh, all the information you need to know about voting in this midterm. Here is, it, it is important that we use the only power that we have, and sometimes it seems like there's no power at all, but we use the only power that we have to try to bring our government into line with what it is we need as people collected. And I know we disagree, two sides of the aisle, but we're at a time now when we are uh, uh, cheering as though we're cheering against enemies. And uh, we're trying to win at all costs trying to pretend one group is just evil and another group is religious when none of that's true. None of that's even a part of the play. We just, okay, so so I got to get you up on voting. Again, I need someone to volunteer to be to chair our voting efforts here from the St. Luke Church. Now, we'll be checking to make sure everyone is registered, reminding people of when the voting dates are, we have voting poll, whatever it is we need to do, and we want to get people out to vote, okay? Well, all right, listen, we're getting ready for a word and worship a little later on. This is Pastor T.C. Johnson. We're here at the St. Luke Christian Church where God is with us. He wants to use you to reach someone else, so let's stay in prayer. I hope I mentioned Sister uh, Joselle Foreman while I was uh, talking. I did. I believe I did, so let's make sure we keep her on the prayer list as well. Listen, till we... See it word in worship. You be blessed. 